Okay, welcome, Yulia. Um, we are talking about uh, how to improve our ability and how to improve our skills in English in general. Okay? So yeah. give, give us <laughs> a brief about yourself. Um, my name is Yulia Chorna. I'm an English teacher for, from Ukraine. I've been teaching English for around uh, 10 years now. Uh, currently, I'm working as a teacher of general English in uh, one language studio in my hometown. But I also have experience in uh, teaching primary students in Thailand. I was teaching there for two years. And I also write content for the teaching blog uh, for one of the uh, language centers, one of the biggest language centers in Ukraine. That's amazing. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> Okay, the first question is how to increase our active English vocabulary? Um, as you know, the vocabulary can be active and passive, the one that we can guess from the, con from the context, right? Uh, but uh, I read one interesting article about activating your vocabulary and the, the author of this article said that uh, words, they are like, like people. So when we meet the person for the first time, we, don't, uh, we sometimes cannot remember the name, right? But when we, uh, when we meet the person for the next time, and when we spend more time with this person, we can remember this person very well, and we know this person very well, and we get to know each other better. So um, the first secret <laughs> is <laughs> if you come across the verb, uh, if you come across the word or uh, any other part of speech, right, uh, you have to try to remember it, and of course you have to use it. Um, also, you have to develop um, you have to search for collocations. For example, I always use, and I recommend my students to use uh, just the word com website where they can, uh, for example, look for the word and they can find the collocations it is used uh, with. And uh, uh, if it's helpful for you, uh, when I was preparing for my IELTS exam, for example, I was, uh, I used the sticky notes and I wrote the, the words on, the, on those sticky notes. And every time I, came to my room, uh, I saw these words on the wall and I tried to make a new sentence with those words, yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, so repetition is the key. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great, okay. Uh, the second question is, how to be fluent at using advanced grammar rules? Um, again, my personal example. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it, must, it might be funny, but uh, when I graduated from the from the university, um, I wasn't able to speak English very well. But as I started um, <clears throat> listening uh, and uh, reading a lot, especially listening uh, to other people talking in English, now we have a lot of opportunities to do this. Uh, I started speaking the language that they speak, even if those rules were, were very advanced, and even if that vocabulary was very difficult for me. But uh, in uh, some time, I noticed that I really use the constructions they use, and I really use the words that they speak. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, the, the next question: Where to find good reading topics? Um. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, actually, I, I don't know uh, where to find good reading topics because there are so uh, many advice on the internet, but uh, you should read what you are interested in. Because, of course, if you are not interested in the topic, it will not be interesting for you to read that uh, those books or those uh, newspapers. So it's better if you like, for example, reading about nature, uh, you can find some uh, resources on the in internet, like National Geographic or, or, or any other. If you are interested in finance, uh, you can read the Financial Times, but those should be authentic resources, something that you read every day. If you like reading books, read books. If you like reading the news feed on Facebook, you can read that. Oh yeah, okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> the second question is, uh, does mastering a skill take time? How long? <laughs> I have been learning English for more than 20 years now and I don't stop learning so um, there is uh, no magic uh, tool that you can like a flash drive that you can insert in your brain and you start you will start speaking English at once so it's a lifelong 
uh, process. <laughs> Just don't stop learning. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, this is the next question. How to develop the ability to generate good ideas for writing? Uh, the very simple thing you can start with, um, I always play this game with my students. Um, I bring the potato to the classroom and I ask my students what you can do with the potato. <laughs> So uh, you can use any object, uh, and these ideas might be very simple, but you you will be surprised like how many ideas you can get. Uh, do we need to develop problems problem solving skills and critical thinking skills to be able to understand the questions precisely? Yeah, uh, this is about writing, as far as I understand. Of course, uh, if you are preparing for some exam. And, uh, you know, uh, for example, IELTS is a very serious exam, but uh, there are four uh, criteria for writing. And the first of them is task achievement. So if you don't analyze the question, if you don't understand the question, um, you will not be able to complete the task. So of course, these skills are important. Perfect. How to develop accuracy with grammar and vocabulary? Um, Accuracy, uh, as for me, it's not uh, as important as fluency, but uh, it usually comes before fluency, right? So I always recommend uh, if to talk about uh, writing, for example, to, re to read someone's writing and do error correction, right? You will see the mistakes of other person. If to talk about your own speaking, uh, you can record yourself and listen to uh, how you speak and uh, notice the mistakes, yeah, and try to avoid the, doing those mistakes again. Okay, uh, so one question here. Um, okay, if we order the, the four skills of English from uh, easy to difficult, which one goes uh -huh. first and which one goes last? Listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Um, if to talk about the students, I guess, uh, uh, the productive skills, uh, writing and speaking are the most difficult for them. Okay, great. Yeah. So we will end with your advice and recommendations generally for uh, students uh, about learning English. What would you like to say? Um, don't stop learning. Listen to what your teachers tell you to do because uh, for sure they know how to do that because they have done it before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's a great to hear you from from you, Yulia. That's a great pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.